Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something exciting, at least for me, because I'm going to be showing you guys a dupe for a new product that just launched a few days ago, and that is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I went to Sephora earlier and I got some of her products. I got the, um, what are these? These are cream contour sticks, and this one is a trio, and this one is $54. You got a highlight, contour, and concealer sticks. And for this one, I only oh shoot. I got this one by itself. This is $28. This one is $54, so it's better to have this one. So I bought this because I'm gonna put this to the test. Well, not really. I bought this because I'm gonna compare this to the product that I think that is a dupe for this one. And it's magnetic. Oh, that's cool still magnetized even though it's in the box we're gonna see if I found the dupe for the concealer contour and highlight cream sticks by Rihanna in this video so if you guys want to see that just keep on watching a lot of beauty gurus already reviewed this product because it's new and this is the only thing I got because ev everyone's saying that the foundation is good but I have a very dry skin and the foundation is very matte and it's not really good for dry skin people that's why I didn't get it and I really want to try this out this is not a review it's kind of a review but it's more like a comparison and finding out the dupe for this product because everyone did a review so I don't want to do a review again so I want to do something different I have this product for a long time now the dupe for the Fenty Beauty cream sticks we're gonna see if they're really similar I think they're similar and I'm going to show you guys what it is right now. Here they are. I don't know if you guys have seen these before. I was going to do a drugstore haul about this a few months ago and I didn't get, I actually did the video but then I had some issues with my computer so I didn't get to edit it and upload it. So here they are and I use them already but not all the time. And these are $4.99. It's from Wet n Wild. Very cheap compared to this one. If this is really a dupe, you can just buy this one except for this one. So now let's find out. We're going to go try the contour color. This shade is Mocha. This is what it looks like. And the contour cream I have is, I think, is a little darker than mocha but this is what it looks like and they're kind of similar the packaging is very different though but the way the product is placed is a little similar the wet and wild is thicker than the fenty beauty cream sticks but you will get more products from this and this because you get 7.1 grams and you get point no you get six grams from this so that's good I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand and let's see if they're similar. And here they are. This is Mocha from Panty Beauty and this is Call Me Maple from Wet n Wild. Right off the bat, you can tell that Wet n Wild is darker than Mocha. But she got other shades though. She got shades darker than this. I didn't get it. I thought I got the right shade because I didn't bring this. I don't have it to compare. I'm going to try it on my face since I have foundation. I already really put foundation on this one because I don't want to do it on my bare face. So I'm going to do this side for the Wet n Wild and this side for the Fenty Beauty. I'm going to go ahead and contour. There you go. It feels creamy. This one feels creamier than this one. This is kind of, it feels kind of powdery. Yep, it feels kind of powdery. And this one is very soft like a butter. Very creamy. And now we're going to see how they blend. And I'm going to use my beauty blender for that. So now the wet and wild part is blended. And let's go ahead and blend this part. They are both very easy to blend. I'm 
and I'm liking this one better because maybe it's really it suits my skin tone and I don't know what do you guys think they look pretty similar yeah Now let's move on to the concealer. I got linen for the Fenty Beauty. I actually have two concealers from Wet n Wild. And I got the shade 808 and 809. So this one is darker than this one. But I think since linen is light, I'm going to compare it to 808. And this is what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on the back of my hand. Whoa, look at that similar the wet and wild though is is more of a pink undertone and the Fenty Beauty concealer has yellow undertone so they're kind of different like that but by looking at them the camera they look very similar let me go ahead and apply this under my eye and let's see I'm gonna use the same amount of products Can you guys even tell the difference? Same thing with the contour stick. This one is more creamier than this one. This feels like a little bit like powder and this is creamier, like butter. And let's go ahead and blend it. Okay, the Fenty Beauty has more coverage in the Wet n Wild, but it gave me some it gave me some pretty good amount of coverage, so that's good. And, and they look very similar. Wow. Now let's move on to the fun part, the highlighter. So highlighter I got is called Starstruck. They actually sold out for the. The single of this sold out already. That's why I have to get the trio. And this is what it looks like. It's a champagne pink. Let's watch it. Very pretty, blinding. And this is from Wet n Wild. And this shade is called When the Nude Strikes. The same color. And let me go ahead and swatch it at the back of my hand. Oh my god. So this one is from Fenty Beauty and this is Wet n Wild. You look similar. Even in person. Would you look at that? Oh my goodness. From what I'm seeing, the Wet n Wild is more blinding than the Fenty Beauty highlighter. But let me go ahead and swatch it some more. Okay, I don't know why this cream sticks feels like powder even though they're cream and this feels very soft and creamy. I don't get that. Oops, wrong cup. Now I'm going to go ahead and try it on my cheeks. Oh my god. Blend it. So that's Wet n Wild. Oh, I did two swipes there. Blend. Add a little bit more here because I did two swipes on the other side. I'm going to use my phone flashlight to give me some good lighting because I don't really have a good lighting right now. I'm just using the natural light from my window. And let's see. Oh my god. So this is Wet n Wild. And this is Fendi. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, I really think I found a dupe for this product. They're pretty much the same. Look at but look at this. To sum up this video, I'm going to say that the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Sticks is a dupe for the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. 
contour highlight and concealer cream sticks these guys are $3.99 each so that is way cheaper than this one this is $28 per piece per stick and they work pretty much the same and this is actually creamier than this one so if you have a dry skin I think this would work better for you than this one and voila I don't know if I'm the only one who knows about this yet but I haven't seen any video dupes for this products because the first time I saw this I thought right away of this guys because it's how they put the products that are very similar thick and yeah they worked they're pretty much the same so if you want to save some coin go ahead and try this but if, if you're a Rihanna fan go ahead and buy these actually guys I'm gonna give you a close-up for the highlighters it's Fenty Beauty it's very glittery this is Red and Wild they're exactly the same so if you guys really love makeup and you guys want to try the Rihanna Fenty Beauty, go ahead. But if you're like a professional makeup artist and you don't want to spend a lot of money, go ahead and buy the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Sticks because they're pretty affordable and they work the same as this and they're more creamier. So that's basically your choice, but I already gave you the dupe for that product. And if you guys want to try it, it's up to you. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you guys learned something from that video. And if you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Also, I'm still doing a giveaway and if you guys want to enter, go ahead and enter. It's very easy and it's about to end. And I'll be showing the prices that I have for the winner. Whoever is the winner for this giveaway on my next video, I was going to do it in this video, but this video is too long. So I'm going to do it in my next video because my next video is going to be short. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.